Welcome to my world, everyone. This is Like It or Not with Michael Lane. And Michael Lane is who I be. Uh, look, man, uh, I know. I've been sitting back and chilling and watching everything unfold. And I'm just, I just love what's going on right now. It's, it's great for uh, political talk. Uh, get the talking heads to go. Uh, man, I've been glued to the television set. I've been uh, also talking on my radio show. As you all know, Donald Trump is hammering away at Megyn Kelly, uh, Fox News. And I've been quiet about it and I've been watching people uh, having their opinions on it and stuff like that. Donald Trump is a lot of fun. Let me tell you something. He is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Uh, Donald Trump said that the woman, Megyn Kelly, was bleeding out of her eyes, talking about the de debate performance. And I, as I said on my radio show, her debate, de uh, her debate performance, Megyn Kelly's, it was about as dumb as a woman with a fake weave and butt implants and boob job and singing, you make me feel like a natural woman. But, he said, man, Megyn Kelly had blood coming out of her eyes, her, her ears, or her wherever. And, it, oh, man, people were just so outraged about it. And Megyn Kelly's response was like, I'm not going to apologize for doing good journalism. Now, I know everybody's been dumping on Megyn Kelly, including myself, and she deserves it. But we are dumping on her a little bit too much. Just a little bit too much. Yes, she was a dimwit for saying that she was actually putting out good journalism. When she unfairly targeted uh, Donald Trump. But it's not just her. And my message to Donald Trump, brother, you should know being a businessman. It is not business. Or it's not personal, I should say. But it's business. You should know being a businessman, brother. Fox Noise. Thaw News. Liberal media and Fox News. That's all they are. Uh, Roger Ailes and uh, Rupert Murdoch. All of them are liberal Republicans. That's why liberal Republicans... Uh, that's why... L listen to Fox News. They never say left. They say the far left the far left they are moderate democrats who are against the far left that's what they are but you can see the biggest oxymoron you all have to understand there's a difference between conservative and liberals liberals you can be any party except the tea party and be a liberal conservatives you stand alone you don't care about parties that's a true conservative you don't care about parties you care about conservatism. All right? And so you got these liberal Republicans over on Fox. They don't like the far left, but they like the left. That's why they love Jeb Bush. This net network is sponsoring the campaign of Jeb Bush. They're hoping and they're praying that he'll represent the GOP. Just like they wanted Mitt Romney. Just like they wanted... Um, not, Mitt, not just Mitt Romney, but uh, uh, Senator McCain. They want these middle-of-the-road, moderate Democrats to represent the GOP. It hasn't been working. America is tired of it. And they didn't have a problem. As a matter of fact, they defended, including Megyn Kelly, defended Donald Trump when he was going through his problems about telling the truth about illegal immigrants coming in and killing people and not sending their best and brightest he was nothing doing nothing but telling the truth but they defended him so if they would if they didn't like him they would be going after him but they defended him and they defended him because Donald Trump was not a threat to Jeb Bush all these all, all the time before that all those polls that were coming out Jeb Bush was just leading the pack with no problem then Trump happened. Then he overtook uh, Jeb Bush by a bunch. 
Now, Jeb Bush is in trouble. Mr. Act of Love, Mr. Liberal, that set Fox off. We love you until you become a threat to our guy. Mr. Liberal, Mr. Progressive Republican. That represents the true party. It's been that way. That's, and the voters too. The voters reflect that. They constantly uh, vote in uh, Mitch McConnell and, and Speaker Boehner and Lamar Alexander and all of those other Democratic frauds. That's why they do it. Because it's not just the politicians. It's you voters out there who claim to be conservatives. Being a Republican doesn't make you a conservative. Uh-oh. And so they attack. These were, if you all think that Megyn Kelly was behind this, you all need to really take a break here. This was nothing but 100% orders from Fox. Yeah, Megyn Kelly is down with it because she loves her some Jeb Bush. All the other Democrats love them some Jeb Bush. Bill O'Reilly, all these people love Jeb Bush. They're cool with Donald Trump, but they're not cool with him beating that guy. They want Bush to represent. And this is why they keep they keep feeding that email with Hillary Clinton. Email every second. They want, they want her to drop out the race. Because they know people will be turned off by Clinton, Bush runoff. America will be turned off. So they will rather take Bush down and have Trump. They can't have that. They have to have Clinton out so they can make their case. Oh, uh, see, I know what goes on. Because before uh, Jeb Bush even announced his campaign, they were campaigning, I'm talking about Fox, were campaigning for his election already. They, he was the first person mentioned for 2016. The first person. And this was in 2014. I follow these dudes. You got to follow these cats, man. Fox Noise is nothing but a liberal Republican network. Joe Scarborough and Fox News go hand in hand. That's all they are. That's all they are. They're liberals. And they want a liberal to represent this nation. America is tired of it. Well, at least so far it seems that way. I hope it stays that way. So yes, you were unfairly treated by Megyn Kelly. But it was also Fox News, brother. Look deep into that. Don't just attack Megyn Kelly. Attack your buddies at Fox. The guys with the, with the shot calling ability. It's business, man. You're a shot caller. You should know that. America, you all, I hope, you all realize that's what's happening. Don't take it personal. It's only business. Liberal business. Fox Noise. For everything Bush, Bush 2016. Fox Noise. We are so unbalanced, and we'll decide for you. Like it or not, Fox Noise. Like it or not. Like it or not.